Hello everyone, this is Stephen from the Manhattan Wood Library and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together your light up LED Valentine's Day cards. So we have two designs here. Uh, this is the first one, it's the simpler one. Uh, it's the one I'm going to be going over, um, which has one light, which will light up here. And then this is another option that's also included in your kit that has three lights, so it's a bit more ambitious, but it's the same principle as the one light. It functions the same way. So this is another alternative, but I'm going to be going over this one. So how these work is we have the front side, which is the actual design for the card, and then we have the circuit page. So we put these back to back like this, and then once we're ready, we will be folding them like this. So how the actual, so how the electricity works for this is the battery will be here in this gray circle and this will be copper tape, which is a special kind of tape that, you know, uses copper, which can transmit the electricity to, this will be the LED. So the electricity comes out of the battery through the tape into the LED, and then we need it to complete the circuit to light up. So we need the full loop to come back. But as you can see, there's a little spot here where it doesn't quite get to the battery. So that means that it's not on. But when we fold it up like this, you can see that this moves over to here when we fold it up. So that when it's like this, it's just ready to turn on. And then when we press this, we are pressing this to this so that the light actually turns on. Um, if you're feeling more ambitious than that, you can also try your own design once you understand that principle that you're folding it and the copper needs to touch the battery to complete the circuit when you're done. So if you don't like the, the little heart light bulb, you can draw your own thing on a separate piece of paper and still just connect it the same way. but instead like know you're gonna have to press around here and that the light's gonna come on around here. So you can do whatever drawing you wanted there. But just so you can see it easily, we're gonna be using this template one. So uh, this sheet we don't need for now. Um, we'll attach this at the end, but for now we're gonna be using the circuit sheet. So your kits came with a few things, one of which is the copper tape and then we have the LED and then the battery. So, we're going to start by just putting the copper tape on. So you should have one big long strand of copper tape, which should be way more than you need. But you're gonna have to cut it and then we're trying to follow these two lines of bronze on the paper. So, on the back we have this white stuff, which you need to pull off to reveal the actual sticky part of the tape. So the first thing we're going to be doing is putting on the copper tape. Which, as you can see, there's the white part and the copper part, so you need to start peeling that off. I recommend you don't peel off the entire part just yet. Because um, if you do, it'll sort of coil up and be very hard to get on neatly. So we're gonna start by just placing it along the brown on the piece of paper. I recommend you start on the side that does not have the battery and you'll see why in a little bit. So you just place it on there and then try your best to follow the path of the brown on the piece of paper. Um, if it's a little bit off, that's not a big deal. And so then the next big issue is the corners. So obviously the copper tape wants to go straight um, but we don't want to cut it and start a new strand because then the electricity doesn't flow as well. It still can work, but it's just less likely for it to work right. So what we want to do is we want to bend it like this, but it's tricky to bend at a 45 degree angle. So the trick is we want to pull it back first. Like this. And then you might even, once you get a certain distance, cut off the white so you don't have that in your way again. 
So we pull it back first like this and sort of press it down and then fold it the other way. And then same thing at this corner. Fold it back, press it down, fold it the other way. And then one more time over here. I'm gonna cut off the white again, just so we have less stuff obstructing our view. If we get to the battery, we're gonna to wanna to make a little tape loopy. So pull a little bit more than the end there. And then you can actually cut it off And we want to loop it around like that. So the sticky side is up. And then that is where we put our battery. So when you're placing your battery, you have the positive side and the negative side. The positive side, you can see there's a little plus sign on it. And then the negative side um, just looks different from the positive side. And you want to make sure that the negative side is facing down. So when you press, when you place it, place it with the positive side facing up like that. And then the tape loopy will help keep it in place. So then we just do the same with the other strip of brown. So as you can see, my tape sort of ripped while we were doing it, um, which might happen to you. And like I said, it's not recommended you do it this way. You want to have as few breaks in the tape as possible, but it should still be possible to connect it this way. What I might recommend is you try to get the same side of the copper touching at least a little bit. So. You want the top side of the copper to touch the top side of the copper here. So maybe at the end of it, you fold it down just a little bit so that it touches. Like that. So then we have the battery as well as the copper wire connecting everything. So we just need to add the light. So the light, as you can see on the piece of paper, there's the little positive and negative signs, a little plus and minus. And so then on the LED, you need to make sure that matches what it says on here. So the positive side is the side that is slightly longer than the negative side. So you can remember that by saying that because it's positive, they added a little more length, okay? So we need to put that there like it has there. So you just gently try not to be too quick with this, bend the pieces of metal out away from it, like I'm doing here. So it looks like this at the end. And then remember, <laughs> and then make sure you remember which side was the positive and negative side. So if you need to, you can fold it back towards the front. So remember the longer side is the positive side. So bending that out, we know that this side is the positive side. So it'll need to go right here like this. And we need to tape this down to make sure that this, the metal on this keeps touching the copper. So we're gonna use a tiny bit more of the copper tape here. And for this, you just need a little strip like this. And just tape it down on both sides. Try to make sure you tape it down tight, but also make sure that these two sides of the copper do not touch besides 
um, between the light, basically. Again, just getting a strip of copper tape and pressing the other side down. So now we have that. We should have everything we need to complete the circuit. So we can test it here by folding it over and making sure that this is touching this. And as you can see, it's lighting up there. Obviously it looks a, a bit weird like this, but we're not quite done yet. So we have this done, the circuit's complete. Once we fold it, we'll just need to press the piece of paper to have it light up. So the next thing is to attach the design. Like I said, if you'd prefer, you can just draw a design on the back and just fold it up and press it this way. Like if you don't want to have this, you can also just draw on the back of this and it'll still light up the same way. You can see it in there. But just for simplicity, we're going to use the design. So when you're trying to figure out which way to attach the design, you want to make sure that the light and the battery are on the right side. So the light needs to be on top, the battery needs to be on the bottom, just like it is here. So then to connect it, I'm just using a glue stick. You could use tape or whatever you want. So then we have the design on one side and the circuit on the other side. So then we just fold it in half like this and make sure to crease it down nicely. Make it, now it's starting to look like a card. Okay. So you could draw whatever designs you want in here or on the inside. So then when you give it to someone, if you have them press this, you can see it lighting up. And so sometimes um, the light might be dimmer or might be flickering. And so if that's the case, you're going to want to troubleshoot. Like, oh, is there some spot where the connection isn't working well? Or did I miss a spot or something? Or maybe you're just not pressing at the right spot. But if you get it right, then you can see it lighting up. Um, if you feel so inclined, you can also poke a little hole in this. You know, you can take the time and make it look nicer than the hole I poked, but then you could have the light sticking through like that so you can see it better. Like that. So that is the basic one. Like I said, there's also this one. So this other design is a bit more tricky to, to align properly because with this one, it's sort of upside down. So this needs to be this way and then this needs to be on the bottom. So it sort of looks like this, where the design is on the blank space and the copper's on the opposite side. But as you can see, if you do this, this is up here, but if you fold it up like this one's supposed to be, so this one isn't um, sideways like this, this one is folding along the middle but when you fold it like that, then the battery ends up right where you'd say press. And then the lights are where the hearts are. So you press and the battery is there, which would light up three of the hearts. So again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.